the year 2023 is coming to an end. One day, Uncle Sam and an American child came to an amusement park. A panda costumed performer came up to greet them, about to give the child a balloon. A panda and balloons give one a strong sense of deja vu. In February 2023, in the name of espionage, the U.S. shot down a Chinese civilian meteorological balloon that had entered U.S. airspace due to force measure. No, you can't take it, because it would be very risky. Perhaps it might be spying on us. But it looks nothing special. Do you fear the panda? Do you fear the panda? Hmm. They came to a small-sized pirate ship. The ship, swaying back and forth, plus children's excited shouting soon attracted Uncle Sam, who by all means wanted to have a try. But the sign reads, children only. Never mind. Rules are made to be broken. This scene is reminiscent of U.S. warships, which often under the pretext of free navigation have entered waters adjacent to China's islands and reefs in the South China Sea, despite strong opposition from China. At this moment, the panda costumed performer came over and gave Uncle Sam a balloon. Please behave yourself! This is not where you can play! Can I try this? Uncle Sam gazed at the roller coaster. So far this year, there have been a few freight train derailment accidents across the U.S., carrying toxic chemicals, causing fires and releasing toxic gases which have seriously affected the health of local residents. However, the local authorities often lacked action, causing local residents to complain vociferously. No, it's not safe. Once it derails, we'll be in trouble. They walked to the merry-go-round. The child spotted in surprise that there was a donkey and an elephant among the animals. Look, there is an elephant and a donkey. Are they good friends? The child's question left Uncle Sam speechless for a while. The donkey and the elephant remind him of America's two major parties, the Democrats and Republicans, which are often at loggerheads with one another on issues concerning national governments. The escalating partisan battle has shut down the government many times, almost ignited a debt crisis, deadlocked the election of the Speaker of the House of Representatives, and so on. Both blame each other when they need to take Take responsibility themselves. Hmm, I don't think so. It was getting dark. They came to watch the Hawaiians fire knife dancing, which was such a lively scene. But Uncle Sam, in contrast to the excited crowd, looks calm and thoughtful. Does the combination of Hawaiians and fire remind him of those wildfires? The wildfires across the island of Maui in Hawaii that broke out this summer have become the deadliest with the highest death toll over the last century in the U.S due to the government's delayed response and other factors. Are you afraid of fire? Not really. I was thinking about how to make a buck after the fires. Gun shooting? Again? I don't think it was the gunshot. Look, it's the firework. How beautiful it is. Now, regional conflicts are still underway. As the world's most powerful country, the US, instead of contributing to peace, has frequently provided military assistance to fuel regional conflicts and civil wars in foreign countries. Uncle Sam doesn't care about people who are enduring pain in the flames of war but just wants to use the world as his playground to wield hegemony. My New Year resolution is that children all over the world can stay safe and healthy and can see the beautiful fireworks with their families. Do you fear the panda? Do you fear the panda? Do you fear the panda? Do you fear the panda?